Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a video that you probably didn't expect to see right now. I think that's fair because I don't usually upload any other day other than a Friday. And I think the only exception I've ever done to that would be earlier on this year when lockdown occurred. Now then, I'll give you some updates and then we'll get into today's video because I have a few things to talk about, but it'll be very brief. So I did mention this on Instagram, but obviously not everyone follows me on Instagram. So that's totally fine. So I'm kind of repeating the news to you right now. It's very short, it's very sweet, but I would have loved to have taken part in Vlogmas through this December. I cannot take part in that. And that is honestly just due to the demands of the shop. My time is very tight as it is. But that said, I'm going to try and do a second video each week. Kind of like what I did during lockdown earlier on this year. I think it was like uh, April, May, something around that time. I did, you know, two videos a week. I'm going to follow the same structure. I'm going to do a Friday video that will always be a little bit more. It'll have like a bit more substance to it. And then I will try and do a video earlier on the week, if applicable, uh, on something that's a little bit more chill. It's not planned as much. It's not as high production, much like this video is right now. Um, and I'm going to put that out for you. Now, I can't always do this each week because I might just not have anything to show you or I might be super busy because I do have some orders coming in very soon. So I'm going to do my best to kind of double up on my content, essentially, but it's not fixed. Your Friday videos are fixed. They will always be the same. That's not changing but you may get an additional one during the week. I will let you know if I've uploaded something. So I would like to keep this up past December. I would like to just keep this up permanently because honestly, over the past year, I found myself wanting to film certain things, but they were never, like they were never good enough for a Friday video. Do you know what I mean? They were, they were video worthy, but just not enough for a Friday video. I like to put a lot of effort into my Friday videos. So I think this helps. I think instead of just not filming something, what a waste. I can film it and just put it out earlier in the week and it's not as substantial. So moving forward, I would love to do that. And I guess this video today kind of kicks that off a little bit. So I'm sat in my studio right now and you may notice that my Hoya are not behind me. Long story very short, I just felt that Hoya being in this room was a little bit of a waste of the space in terms of what's on the shelf. I really wanted to create more of a, like a leafy, luscious, moment behind me, kind of like the living wall, I guess. So I've kind of turned it into an Aroid corner and more stuff will be appearing here. There's not actually much on the shelves at the minute. Um, so I will be changing that out and getting that way more leafy in here. I am going to do a tour of this studio as soon as possible, as soon as that's done and everything is in its place. I think that'll be really good because I haven't showed anyone around this studio in much detail. So that would be awesome. But anyway, let's get into today's video. So. I did the thing that a lot of people are doing at the minute. I kind of bit the bullet on this and I made the Ikea Mills Bowl or Mills Brawl greenhouse. Essentially what you do is you take this particular cabinet from Ikea and you turn it into a greenhouse or a display cabinet for your plants, if you will. So I've done that. I haven't done it. I will say right now, I have not done it to the standard that a lot of you will have at home because this was done honestly to be functional. This cabinet is not sat in my studio at all. It's actually on the outside of the studio on the balcony. So it's not something anyone's really going to see but me. And as I mentioned, it's functional. So there are wires everywhere and the like, but it works. So that's good. So I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of that just to show you what I've done and what I've got in there. And I'll try and show you the plants in there. I guess that's it. Let's just get straight into the tour. So if you've noticed a quality drop, that's because I'm filming on my phone. Apologies. It's just going to be miles easier to film this on my phone. The camera is going to be too much of a headache. Also, I can't actually step back because I'm on the edge of the balcony. So this kind of sucks a little bit. But here is my cabinet. Now then. I'll just pan from top to bottom. You will see there's nothing in the top of the cabinet and there is some things in the bottom. The only reason I have done that is so that I don't have to point a camera directly into the light. So that is the only reason. I've just very quickly gone and removed some of these Hoya from the top down to the other shelves and spread them out. So there's nothing wrong with the top. I've just removed them. So I'll open these doors. This cabinet does have a lock on it, but I mean, I'm not gonna be using that. There's no point, it doesn't matter to me. The whole building is locked. So in here we have four, I think they're T5 grow lights. I'll try not to tip the camera up too much, but these are T5 grow lights. I have four of them down here. I will link something equivalent to these below, but they're actually screwed. Well, I think this one is screwed into the top and the others are cable tied on. 
Now then, this cabinet does come with, I'll show you right here, these glass panels. And funny story, don't try and stick your lights on with double-sided sticky tape because it won't work. The light, uh, the heat from the light, sorry, will just have them falling off. So that was the test that did not pass. Also, don't try and drill a hole through the glass because it is, I think it's tempered glass and it doesn't really drill holes through it very well, even with a glass drill. At least that was my experience of it. So what I've done is I've taken some of my very awesome IKEA shelving and we turned it into a shelf. We've cut it down. That's why it's a little bit botched at the back there. And we've made it into a shelf. The cable for the light at the top is fed upwards out of the cabinet and the other cables are not very eloquently fed down the side and out through the bottom of the cabinet. That's how it's gonna be at the minute. As I say, this is a little bit more of a rough setup. So that's kind of all about the cabinet. It's really nice cabinet, to be honest. It's not airtight or anything like that. But in here for me, because this, um, the humidity around here is about 80%, I don't actually need that. Um, I do need some fans to fit onto the side, but I haven't got around to that yet, but these will be fine. Honestly, they will. Um, and if, if any doubt, I'll just keep the cabinet doors open because like I say, I don't suffer with the problems that other people might suffer from. I've just tampered with the exposure there really quick to stop this whole thing from flickering. So hopefully that's made it a little bit better. Right, anyway, just to take you on a quick tour of what's going on in this cabinet. So over here at the front, we have a Hoya Polyneura Brogate, Brogate. I cannot remember how to pronounce it, guys. Very, very sorry. But this basically is a Hoya Polyneura with silver speckles. I'll try and zoom in on my phone. Don't know how kind it's going to be on the focus front. It seems to be doing all right. So it's a really, really pretty Hoya. Obviously, I've repotted this quite recently. All of my Hoya are in these pots, by the way. I will link them down below, but they're really crappy pots from Amazon and they do have drainage in the bottom. I don't really want to tip it up and they do have little drip trays. So I thought they were good for that. So yeah, really pretty plant. It hasn't grown yet. I'm sure it will though. Behind that at the back, we have, it's actually a couple of Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves in one pot. When I repotted these on camera, I didn't do the best job of putting them together. So they look a bit silly, but they're pretty nice. There's a new leaf coming in there. And then there as well, really, really pretty plant. I don't know what's going on there. That, that was like that when it got shipped to me. So I guess it's just some shipping damage. I don't know. It seems to be stable though. I think it lost one leaf when I got it, but otherwise it's fine. Uh, well, zigzag, why not? So this is, oh, it looks quite nice on camera actually. This is my Hoya Carnosa Freckles Splash. Now, according to what I'm told, the only difference between this and, you know, any other silvery Carnosa, well, there isn't one, apparently. It's just the way that the variegation presents itself and this one presents itself via being a bit freckly. I don't like the leaves very much on this one, though. I have one that's like next to this on my right that I just am actually in love with. It's one of my favorites. This is not my favorite. I would actually probably sell this. I did buy this at the time, if anyone has seen my... Uh, my Hoya haul. I did buy this just to compare it with the plant that's over here, which I'll show you in just a moment, to see what the difference was because I wasn't sure. Um, the new growth on that has come through a little bit green, so that's not great. I think the growth before that's come in a funky shape. Likewise, we've got that there. But again, that doesn't really bother me. It didn't bother me when I bought it. It was kind of just, you know, let's see what's going on with that. So that's okay. She's okay. She's nice. But this, this girl, this is literally probably my favorite Hoya in this cabinet. I'm not actually kidding. I have a lot of like high value Hoya in this cabinet. This is just the best. This is, I am told, Hoya Carnosa Stardust. Again, a Hoya Carnosa with just a lot of silver on it. Now, I actually think that if you really want a Wilbur Graves, this here is not a terrible option. It doesn't look too far off. And to be honest, this Hoya right now is more speckled than a lot of my Wilbur's in this cabinet, which you will see as we kind of go through the tour. So that's kind of interesting. But honestly, if I just tilt it to the light, you can just see how amazing it is. It's obviously got some new leaves coming in. I don't know if the phone's gonna let me show you. It doesn't look like there's any splash on that, which is not amazing. I still love it all the same, even though I'm told that it's just a regular Carnosa, but I love it, it's cute. Now I'll kind of show you these two at the same time. I'll just push them a little bit closer together for your viewing pleasure. And these are my two Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost. I think it's a type of Carnosa. Now, 
I quite like these plants. I did get one of these plants A as a backup and B to propagate. So I'm probably going to treat this plant here as my own plant. And this plant at some point I'm going to propagate and grow on from that. Is that a new leaf? I don't know. It's so silver. Um, really nice plants. I haven't noticed any difference, by the way, in the care of any of these that I'm mentioning. Actually, I don't think I've noticed a difference in care across any Hoya ever. The only difference I think I notice is the Polyneura varieties are a lot thirstier. You don't have to treat this as much like a Hoya as the other types. They seem to be able to take a lot more moisture. So that's really interesting. But yeah, my ghosts, my gray ghosts are really nice. There's one up close and there's the other up close. Sorry, I've got a lot of mess to the side of my cabinet. Hopefully you can't see too much. I'm in the middle of cleaning up the shop at the minute, so there is stuff literally everywhere. Like, if I show you down there, it's not good at the minute. It's a mess. So, I think if I move back without hurting myself, that's it for the first shelf. Again, these were further up on the shelf, but just for the sake of your viewing pleasure, I've moved them down because you can see the plants better. So, these are all the ones on this shelf. Looking great. They've only been in this cabinet. Every hoyer in this cabinet, actually, has only been in here for maybe two days. <laughs> So if anything goes wrong, I will be taking them out. But for now, there is no change at all. So moving down a shelf, we have this little boy here with his slightly dried up, you know, issue over here. This was because I think I got it. I put it in the studio next door. I didn't get around to watering it quick enough and we had a bit of a dry out situation. But this, I believe, is Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. I do have a regular one. You're not going crazy if you thought that I hold a regular one a while back. I do, but it's still in Lekka. That's the only reason it's not in this cabinet. So any of the Hoya that I've hold that were in Lekka on my videos, they are not here. They are downstairs in Lekka. So just in case you thought that some stuff has gone missing, it hasn't. This is another, it's a group of two Wilbers actually. Not the best, to be honest. Not the best. They're okay. They're growing. I think this is a new leaf here. I thought there was some new growth elsewhere. Oh, there's some new growth right here. What am I talking about? Right there, there's some new growth coming in. Nice, but not the prettiest. I, I hope for, for more as it grows, I think, to be quite honest. Moving on, we have this very unhappy looking Hoya, uh, is it Hoya Compacta Regalis Regalis? It's not happy because I let it dry out. So it's looking really unhappy at the minute, but it's okay. I do have... I have this one, I have one through in my studio on the windowsill that's really sexy. There's an Instagram picture of that on my Instagram. And I have a really long one that I also hold. So that's a different one from those ones. It's not looking great, but hopefully under these lights, it starts enjoying itself. Moving on from that is a Hoya that I really, really, really can't wait to get a full plant of. If anyone finds a full plant of this, buy it, because at least in the EU, they're not the easiest thing to get. I would absolutely adore having a full plant of this because I just think it's great. My phone may be blowing it out a little bit here, um, but it's just really, really pretty. I actually don't know if I said the name of the plant or not. This is Hoya Hoischkeliana variegata. So yeah, you can get green versions of the plant, but obviously variegation for the nation, it is better. It's grown really well since I've got it actually. Um, these are new and I think these are new here. They're coming in even now. So it's doing really well. All of these plants prior to here obviously have been in the studio and th to be fair, they did love life. It's just, I really want something a bit more leafy in there. So perhaps until these have grown, they will be living in here. This is Hoya Polyneura Silver, I think. I don't think there's anything specific about it other than, you know, it's silver. If I tilt it to the light, you might be able to see. In fact, if I just hold it up here next to my other one, you might be able to see the difference there. It's not insane difference. I suspect, because these two leaves are new, I suspect that, you know, when these harden off and it brightens up a little bit, they will look a little bit more silvery. I don't know. But I just love Hoya Polyneura so much, so I had to collect the varieties. It was literally a collection aspect. So that's basically what I've done. I've got another one. And this one, this one's lovely. This one I got quite recently. A subscriber actually sent me this as a gift. And thank you very much because it's lovely. This is Hoya, is it Sigillatus or Sigitalis? I think it's Sigillatus. So that's a little cutting that I have just growing in the same manner as the rest of them. Um, and I think that's kind of, oh, wait a minute, what's that? Is that Mealy? Is that Mealy? Oh my God, is that Mealy? Let me have a look. We're doing this on camera, guys. Is that Mealy? Is that Mealy? 
Is it? Is it? I don't know. Let's take it out in case it's mealy and we will have a look at that because absolutely not. Let's put it on the top for now. Right, so yes, beautiful plant. We need to make sure that's not mealy and it's just a bit of white on it. So that is my second shelf of Hoya. Now, you may notice that there's a lot of gaps here and I could probably put a lot more Hoya in. I'm not gonna lie. Will I? Don't know. I don't think I have any real Hoya at the minute that I've got my eye on. I think I've only got one at the minute on my wish list, but we'll see how it goes. To be honest, I'm probably gonna do a lot of propagations um, of some other plants that I have next door and start propagating them in here. And then maybe I could put some in the shop um, next year, maybe, depending on how that propagation goes because I'm new to Hoya. So it's probably a good thing, to be honest, that there's space here because really I could get so many of these plants on one shelf, maybe two maximum, um, leaving the other two shelves for props, so. We'll see how it goes with that. Um, yeah, I haven't swept up in here since we had to drill a hole in the metal. So there you go, absolutely uncensored. So this here, I'll do these two together because obviously it's the most interesting when they're together. This on the left is Hoya Kentiana Variegata Lori Lynn. It might be Wayetii, I'm not 100%, but it was sold to me as Kentiana. It's probably Wayetii, but it doesn't matter. It's a Lori Lynn, which means it's variegated on the outside of the leaf and the leaf margins are actually pink. And I think when you stress it out, it'll go really pink on the margin, which is really nice. Um, that's quite hard to get. I think certainly in the EU, it's really hard to get. I'm not really sure about America and how difficult that is to get. Um, this on the other hand in America is, it would seem anyway, quite easy to get. I don't know if it is or not. This is Hoya Kentiana or Wayetii uh, Variegata, I think, I think. Um, and the only difference is between this one and this one, obviously it should be quite clear. This is variegated on the inside, that's variegated on the outside. Um, really pretty plant, as I say, I would love a full plant. This is all I've been able to find for now. I do have some smaller ones that I showed on, on a repot recently that I've actually gathered into a bigger pot and I'm hanging it next door. So hopefully they will grow into a bigger plant. Until then I just have this boy. He's lovely, but he's all I have. So that's those two there. Again, this one is, or at least seems to be much more difficult to get than this one. Um, a lot of people think this is prettier anyway, so fair enough. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, I want that. I really like that. Because I love the normal way at I think it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite Hoya. So that's those two. And I think we got three left in here, uh, or two and a half, whichever way you want to put it. This is another pot of Hoya Wilbur graves. There's two in this pot. So there's, I think this plant is one here and this plant here is one. So these three leaves are one plant. These four leaves are another plant. And again, not unbelievable amounts of silver. It's growing though. So that's awesome. Let's see if I can get a good close up without my uh, camera phone hating me. It's a beautiful plant. Um, I'm just getting very different, uh, you know, differing levels of, call it variegation. But to be fair, you get that with every plant. So I'm just learning everything I can about these Hoya. Ooh, let's put them in a line. I think that's quite hot. And this last Wilbur is, this one's been on a journey. It's not a particularly interesting journey. It got lost in the mail, I think, earlier this summer. I swapped this little guy for a Lupinum, I think, with somebody on Instagram and it got lost in the mail honestly guys i think it got lost in the mail for like two weeks maybe more um i think it came back to obviously the person that was swapping with me and I, personally i think she was quite lucky to get it back because i, I would have thought it would have just gone gone missing um, but for whatever reason she got it back she rehabbed it i think it's pushed out it's pushed out this new leaf and she has recently sent it back to me so that's awesome oh no is that actually just <sighs> I think I've just lost a growth point. Well, that's just crap, isn't it? I've also just got soil all over the bottom of this cabinet. So, you know, you know me, we don't censor anything here. And this last plant that is in my cabinet today to show you is a Hoya Thompsonii, I think, splash anyway, a very splashy cutting of one. It's kind of like, I, th I think I said this on the video when I hold it, but it, it kind of feels like a cat's tongue. It's really bizarre. This one got a little bit underwater downstairs when I was um, doing a lot of stuff in the unit. So it's it's kind of, it's hurt itself a little bit. I don't even see that. It's not doing amazingly, but it's okay. Um, I haven't repotted it or anything, maybe I should. It is what it is, but it was a little gift um, from the person that sold me 
quite a lot of the Hoya that I've got, actually. As I say, all of my other Hoya are at the moment downstairs in Lekka. I probably will transition them to soil if I want them to be mothers, um, but that's that. There is a very special new Hoya that I got recently that I will probably just wait to show you. Um, I think I bought it like a week ago. It's beautiful, but I don't want to show you it yet because it's not in this cabinet because I, I felt too strongly about it to put it in this cabinet in case something went wrong. And I know that sounds crazy because there's tons of Wilbur and Grey Ghost in here, but I'm just loving the Hoya that I have. So I will show you that at some point, but it's not in there. But that's kind of my cabinet. If I just shut the door on it, like so. As I say, it locks, but I, I'm not going to use that. I mean, you're not going to come for the hire in this cabinet in this shop, are you really? So that is a very quick tour of my cabinet. Now, as I say, it's just not done, you know, with the most finesse. It's not. It needed to be done quickly so I could get these in here and it needed to work. So that's kind of that. Obviously, I've just got loads of stuff everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. But that said, if I like this cabinet, if this cabinet does well for me, what I will probably do is make another one, actually, and I'll probably put it next to it. I think I'm going to just leave two shelves in instead of four and then use it for larger aroids. So that might be nice. But I will honestly see how it goes with this cabinet. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of it, really. That's what we're using it for. I will get these lights on a timer. They're not at the minute. They're just, I come on in the morning and I put them on and then when I'm done, I turn them off. But they will be on a timer at some given point when I go and buy a timer. Um, but I guess that's it. That's it for this video. That's just a quick little tour of my new little cabinet. That's what I've been up to this week, along with tidying the shop, which I'll just give you a little bonus pan around at the minute. That's probably not going to show you much because my settings aren't on auto. I've had to bump them to show you the inside of the cabinet with the lights. But there is a ton of stuff there. There's some shelves there that are clear, waiting for some orders to come in. But there's just stuff everywhere. It's tidy. It's just... Nah. This is tidy. Over there, not so much. So that's kind of what's going on at the minute. Anyway, guys, that concludes this video. I know this is very random, but this is normally why I don't do double content because some things just, to me personally anyway, they're just not video worthy. But that said, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on Friday. Have a great week, guys. Bye.